Also tonight, a lot of people in Portsmouth have got to be wondering what's next for the city's government. The city manager quit early, the city attorney fired, and the police chief still on suspension. It's a lot to take in. Tenor New Science Routine Mobley now with reaction from your neighbors about the wait and they're hoping for the future. Regina? Well, Anita and Tom, the nation is watching as Portsmouth deals with the aftermath of the Confederate monument destruction, the arrest of key black leaders, and then the administrative actions against the police chief. The city council in decisive action yesterday took steps in what the mayor calls riding the ship of Portsmouth City Hall. We need to get the leadership stabilized. In the Waterview community, residents have complained about instability in City Hall. They even called ten on your side back in March on complaints of cars racing through the neighborhood. Reverend Corey Newell is president of the neighborhood civically. Systemically, the leadership has um, done what they wanted to, when they wanted to, and how they wanted to. And it's all been led by the city manager and supported by the city attorney. This is a snapshot of happier times in the city of Portsmouth. In 2018, the city attorney and city manager, Vice Mayor Lisa Lucas Burke, and the mayor posed with Hollywood legend Danny Glover. Two years later, manager Lydia Pettis Patton has resigned, and city attorney Solomon Ashby has been fired. The decisive action sent shockwaves through the city. In the Cavalier Manor section, one long-term resident doesn't disagree with what happened, but how the city manager left. I just felt that it should have been handled in a more diplomatic way. Sources told 10 on your side the council was prepared to fire the manager four days after she placed the police chief on administrative leave. We've been had a lot of chaos and mayhem going on in this city for over 60 years. And we just need leaders who will become statesmen and stateswomen and represent the citizens because they work for us. Ray Smith, president of the Cavalier Manor Civic League today, told 10 on your side, quote, we will not correct 400 plus years of racism in our lifetime. There's racism on both sides in the city of Portsmouth. Blacks and whites must work together for progress, otherwise, there is no hope. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.